Hi guys! We are at Lodge Farm today. That used to be the old uh, Travis Perkins building. It's all gone now. It's been taken down. It didn't take that very, that long. Amazing what they do nowadays. Uh, yeah, we're at the corner of Lodge Farm. You, you know where we are. If you know Northampton, Holden Road. Right, today, oh, we have a sight dog. How's, how's sight dog, Buster? So we're on this job for the next couple of days. Let's run you through the jobs. Sorry, Emma? Yeah. Yeah, you'll notice me talking to myself. Don't, just ignore me. I'll just, <laughs> I'm just filming and that, so you carry, you carry on. That's right. fine. Do you need me to confirm anything that needs doing or when? Uh, or anything? Just that, that socket you want it moving right, but how far right? Shall I stick a bit of tape on or, or a little, I'll, I'll just put a little bit of little pencil mark. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably about how big they do. Okay. Here? Just there, yeah. Same height, yeah? yeah. So about there. Let's go for there. You happy with that? Oh, hello, dog. Hello, dog. Buster. Oh, my God. Sorry. Buster. Hello, Buster. Say hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. Hello, Buster. Oh, hello. So about there. Cool. Yeah. No problem. Buster. I'm gonna shut you downstairs in a minute. That's fine, yeah. Uh, there's nothing in your way, is there? No, nope. no, it's quite empty, so it's all pretty good. You know, we can we can work around that. That's fine. Yeah, probably. Let, let's mark where you want it. Yeah, just about about there, same height as the others. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool, nice little mark there. Cool. That's there. That. <laughs> How long is that? Roughly take. Would that be the half day today or? Probably this one be half day today, I reckon. Yeah. Because um, also we'll go into that one as well. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I don't mind. Um, yeah. yeah, so we'll concentrate on this and that. I reckon this one will take half day. So a lot of sockets are on patches like this. Look rubbish. Um, the customer wants them all sunk back <coughs> into the wall. Uh, there's quite a few, there's, I think it's eight sockets in total. <clears throat> so yeah, we're going to sink that one back um, and then pick up, spur it to the next room through there for another socket. This uh, floorboard's already been taken up, so that should be no problem at all. We'll go under the floorboard, um, joist one in that way. We'll see what we're going to do in a minute. So in this next room, this is where that socket's going to be spurred from the next room. Just about there, so we'll pick it up from the other side somehow under the floorboard. That's not moving, that's fine. Uh, again, on Patrice, just want this, uh, I want this one moving right a couple of foot, just to that mark there. Uh, same height. Um, yeah, a lot of these floorboards have been taken up before, so it's going to make the job a little bit easier. Uh, but we'd need to find the feed under that and, and maybe get a Wago box and bring it up. We'll see. See what happens when we pull up floorboards. So that'll be our first job. Living room again, sink three, three sockets back. So that one needs putting back. That one needs putting back and the wires on, underneath uh, chasing into the wall. So I'll just unpack this and trunk in at the moment. Shouldn't be too bad. There's one. Ah, oh, there's another one there. That one wants sinking back as well. That socket there sinking back again. Need to find out what this switch does, and this one wants sinking back behind into the cupboard side wall. So we'll just sink it back at the top, straight down in the um, trunking, and put it just up there somewhere. Well, there's just something there already. Yeah, we'll sit, put it just there. So that's the job. Let's have a look at the consumer unit. Uh, consumer unit is a uh, type AC with two of the circuits not on RCD protection. Uh, we are due to do um, any ICR and change the consumer unit anyway because it's got new installations within the um, build, if you like. So they need to comply to current regulations. So today's Tuesday, due to be a half day today. Full day tomorrow and then possibly Thursday half day. I'll put in an extra half day and Adam might be with me on Thursday if we are. I do have a Delroy 
hat thing, what day he has. So I should be able to take you on a little journey this time. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so under the floorboard we've found some of this VIR, looks like. Oh, that's a bit worrying. I wonder if that's live. Let's have a look. No, not live. So that's good. So, found a spider box as well. Lovely jubbly. So that's possibly a ring, plus some spurs off it, I don't know. Yeah, we'll open this up, see if it is a ring, or a ring within a ring, or whatever. Don't you just love spider boxes? Look at that. Authentic spider box there. Um, but going forward, if it, if it isn't, if that's just a spur from the ring, then it's quite easy. That, that is just one spur, it should have one cable in. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's got one cable in, so that's just a, a spur. That's good, at least. And we'll we'll take the cable we'll take the cable along there, bring it up there. So we've measured the other socket in, in the room. There's only one other socket, and it's 19 above finished floor level. So let's mark up 19. Just there. That's the height we want our back box. Back box there. Get him level. That's where we want the back box. So now what we need to do is just drill through there, bring the cable up, straight up here, straight into the back box. We will use the multi-tool to get our first cut onto that back box, but we've got brick behind that. So that's the back box in with the cable in as, as a spur. I'm not sure whether I'm gonna run it as a spur or whether I need to do some um, working around with this. Depends, I need to test this, see if it's a ring or ring within a ring or whatever it is. So I need to test that and see how I can run this cable. Right, so we're gonna uncover the junction box, the old spider box. As you can see, just splitting off all over the place. So I don't know whether they're radials or rings within a ring or what. Let's do some testing and find out. Just gonna test, make sure it's dead. No voltage, no voltage, no voltage. It's good for me. What I'll probably do is change this junction box out anyway. Cause it probably, I don't know, it may, might help. It might be having too much resistance or what, but it's not maintenance free. But I don't know if even maintenance free was a thing back then. Well, I, don't, I doubt it. Right, ah. Oh, oh. pulled up that one and I found his friend. <laughs> Brilliant, eh? What's the point in that? Maybe they caught them all fit in, in the same one. Wow, that's strange, isn't it? Yeah, so it makes it easier to find the rings because you can see them two be joined straight through. This is what this is what I found a few times they go straight through. They've not cut the cable, which helps with the resistance, lower the resistance. Okay, start with that is because that's going into that socket. Looks like yeah, 
that's going straight into the socket so it can't be a ring doesn't look great does it okay this cable here is not that's not 2.5 so it looks like 1.5 maybe okay so what we've found is found this is one end of the ring and that's the other end of the ring these are spurs from the ring don't know what this uh, 1.5 is don't know where it goes who knows so these are going to be spurs yes yeah, so what we'll do we'll um i'll cut this here where's that go so that's a ring so i'll bring one end up into our socket the other end back and take the return path to here why are things so complicated? So yeah, we can see why they put these double patches on the front. That was just on there, just a double patch. Is there any risk in Sorry? Is there any risk in that? No, no, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's Perfectly fine, yeah. It's just rubbish. Um, yeah, so they've got single patches behind. Um, so we need to rip this out and put in a double in its place. Not too big a job, to be honest with you. Right. As we can see, what we had there was a single, bo single box patches in the back. Sorry, back box in the back. Replace it with a um, two gang back box. I'm going to take the spur into the next room. This is going under there, through that hole there, you can see. And it's going to pop up under here. Let's see if we can see it. Should be able to see it there. I'm just poking the camera down the hole, literally. Got to try and get it now. And then that's going to come up here and it's going into the into this corrugated cardboard here. What I might do is put in a um, drywall patris because if you look there, that is the next room. There's no room at all. So if I stick a drywall patris in there, that'd be fine. So we finally got him. So we can get it up the back here going on underneath see if he pops out there we go come on get up there there we go we're out oh, that was hard work. right what we're doing is we're using the click skull more um drywall back box thanks to ben for sending this, these to us let's try out Hopefully this will fit in here. So if it's too deep or what. Just right. Lovely. Lovely. Because it's a single conductor, we'll be bending these over. A little bit longer. Put a little bit of excess cable down the back. Be careful when screwing these type of face plates in. If you slip with a screwdriver, you're gonna scratch the face plate. So you take it nice and easy. Give a little wipe over. Got some dust from my hands. There we go. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Right, stage job's all done. As I said, old socket there. Picked up the feed underneath and in, uh, made off the junction box again. Took the new feeds there and put it on the ring so it returned leg and goes into the ring. <sighs> this is a spur from the other side. A bit wonky. Let's straighten him up. Got plenty of power in it to straighten it up. Comes under there from the other room. And that comes from that socket there. These are all to be made off and plastered. Just a little bit dusty, but what can you do on a building site? Um, yeah, it just needs to be plastered off, made off. So you've got a ring and you've got a spur, both into this, all into the same socket. Go under there, straight under there. That's about it for today. Uh, back tomorrow. Done well today, got through quite a bit, but battery's going to die, so see you tomorrow. 
Hi guys, we're back, carrying on this job, sinking back loads of sockets. So we're in the living room today, We've got four sockets, sockets to sink back. Customer wants this one sinking back, one that one gone. Let's, let's do, let's Instagram it, shall we? Wow, it works. I can't believe it actually works. How easy would that make my life now? Just click the fingers and make things disappear or appear. Let's see if something else happens. Mm. Well done. So what we're going to do, that looks like a spur, so we'll take that from underneath, see where it's joint, possibly in this socket here, go under the wall, under the floorboard. That's been lifted up before, it's got some screw holes in there, so that's nice and easy to lift that up. And it's just the same, sink it back these, these sockets, uh, one over there, sink that back, uh, and that's the living room. Next is kitchen after this, and hopefully I want to get done today. Uh, but we'll see. So taking the faceplates off, a lot of them have got single cables in. So I'm hoping that it's just joint behind because they couldn't extend the cables. Otherwise we need to search under here for a JB. Okay, power's off. Now this is how, this is the best way of res removing a back box. So here you've got your back box there. It's a bit of mastic on it. It's the best way. Oh, we've got a cable coming down the wall. So, ah, oh, right. I remember this from upstairs. This is spurred from the upstairs sockets. So that's fine. But it means I was going to take a spur for a socket next to it. As we know, we can only have one spur from a ring, not another one. So yeah, this is coming from that JB that we found upstairs. Now to get under here, see what we can find. Get the carpet grippers up. This is all getting redone anyway, so we don't need to worry about the carpet grippers. What's the bets we find a JB under here? Let's have a look. Okay. So yeah, that feeds that socket up there. Yeah, it's one of these with a the void underneath. I'll just take that off of there down and put it up where we need a new socket. Save, well we can't take a spur from that, so we'll go straight up to there. Right, so this is how I do a back box. Uh, cut it out with a multi-tool first, so then you try and avoid as much plaster damage as possible. Go around the outside with the scutch comb. That is what a scutch comb looks like on an SDS. Uh, mark out the area, and then all you do is just keep shaving the edge shaving it and shaving it back until you get the right depth and that's what it looks like at the end so it's going to be a socket back uh, side to side one there one there and this is how i mark out the, the distance between sockets i use a back box on this side so you get the same distance every time then um let's set it up and see if i can show you what i mean Shaving it like that. Unfortunately, with these, you have to keep knocking them in to go wonky.
that will go in that bottom rack. What you want to do is get these at the same height. It annoys me when you see one that's higher than the other. It's just really bad workmanship. Three more to go. I haven't, I haven't done a re full rewire for so long, but if I was doing rewire, I'd just get these out probably with angle grinder or something. I'll get your apprentices with it. Right, that's them two done. Um, customer's gonna patch up anyway, so but I don't usually include it in my um, work. I usually let the customer do it. We do, we can do it if we need to be, but customer's happy to patch that up. Two more to do in this room. Oh my God, it's hard work. Hold up. Chateau Neuf du Pape. Why don't I use the Instagram click? Wow. How amazing is that? Click of the fingers. I'm gonna be able to get through so many more jobs in a day now. One more to do, this one, here we go. Right, so we're done, finally. About one and a half days worth of work done here. Uh, we've seen this before, that's all done. Customers patching up. One over there, same. One over there, same, same. Oh, uh, what are we doing here? Oh. This one, same, sinking back. Uh, what did we do here? Ah, all oh, right. So there was a switch there, put it through the wall, that's in the zone, so you can just patch over that. Uh, clipped all right to, to there, stick this on. Yeah, clipped to the wall and the patches underneath, and that does outside lights, I think. Um, now, customer's got a switch here for these lights, and it was a pain in the backside, because you have to come into the kitchen to switch it and then go back out. Um, so they wanted that move from there to over here. Up here's a flat roof, no access above, and it, as you can guess, it would be a nightmare to trace the cable back, up, along, and back down to where the customer wants it. So we had a bright idea, didn't we? Can do them now and then. We made this into a two-way switch. So that's the original switch, made it into a two-way, so now it works from here. And also, works from here. A little bit of cable on the wall, it's getting patched up so don't worry about it so much. Uh, inner zones, in the corner zone there, if you're moaning, it's corner zone, 
150 mil I think it is out and that's in the zone because you've got light switch there, light switch there, so that's perfect. Uh, yeah, that was good thinking there, I thought. Yeah, just to prove it does work by both. <coughs> uh, so, right. Buster. Oh, Buster's too busy eating. I had a lovely dog all day long bugging me, ain't ya? Buster. Hello, Buster. Buster wants to be on YouTube, don't you? Come on, in, let's go. Let's go on YouTube, me and you. Now you know what, what my sign-off is at the end, don't you? Don't you, Buster? You know what my my sign-off is, don't you? Okay. This is it. Ready? Oh. Yeah, you got it. Right, ready, Buster. Oh. Oh God. He's, he's all right, he's all right. Right, um, so Buster, Buster, look, look. Oh. Right, I'm going to have to stand up to do this because he won't let me. He won't leave your hand. So Buster, like, comment, share, and don't eat my hand. <laughs> What's the last word, Buster? Prescribe. <laughs>